Super Daniel Kale Water Sports. We're here with the one and only strength and conditioning coach, uh, Larry Wade, man. Good to see you. Hey, good to be uh, here. Man, just compare uh, Jake Paul's work ethic to maybe some of the other athletes, champions, obviously Caleb Plant, uh, Badu Jack, some of those other guys. Talk, right. talk about, compare the, the work ethic for him. Man, listen. One of the things that I love about being with Jake is when I first started with him, he said to me that he didn't want me to lie to you. Don't like if he was doing good, if he was doing bad, and don't hold back on him. And I have it. I treated him just like this. Any other world champion now, understand that's development. Even with all those guys that you mentioned, I've had to help develop them up over the years. But based on where he's at, he's done everything I've asked him to do. He didn't complain. He did it at a great level, not just did it, he did it at a high level, finishing the work. So I'm very excited for him in his fight, and I'm also very excited about the future for him because he can, he can go a long way in this sport. Man, uh, I mean, obviously he's doing big things, right? This yeah. is like, uh, you know, his sixth fight, and all of them have been pay-per-view, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, so that's kind of yeah. crazy. Uh, man, I just want to get into what happened last week. Terrence Crawford. Oh, 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 oh. Earl versus Earl Smith. What, oh, tell me what you saw. First of all, Terrence Bud Crawford put on an amazing show. Amazing show. I looked at it as a 50 50 fight going in. Some days I was Terrence, some days I was Earl because I felt like it was such a great fight. You know, but what Terrence showed that night is not only his athleticism, but also his his huge ring IQ. Also, all the different tools he has in that tool chest, man. I mean, every tool you need is in there, but he can use it whenever he wants. So uh, he showed that, he showed his, his the ability to be poised in very tough situations and come out on top, man, listen. If this guy hasn't shown the world that he's clearly one of the best ever in the sport, then I don't know what to say. You know, one of the things that I saw in Terrence before, when Terrence fought Sean Porter, and I was in Sean Porter's camp, I saw it's one of the round, I think around 10, someone told Terrence he was behind on the cards. I'm looking in the corner trying to look at Terrence to see if he's getting tired. And he looks over, and I'm thinking he's looking at me, but he's looking at Terrence. I mean, look at that Sean, and I'm saying, oh shit. He came out that corner, walking down. And so when I saw that, I knew it was going to be a long night. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win that night, but what that did was just show the levels in which Terrence can take it if he needs to. I applaud the young man. I do want to comment on one other thing, though. Errol Spence didn't have the night that he wanted, but we've seen what Errol can do. And I feel like Errol has done a great job to this point. I feel like Derrick James has done a great job to this point. And I feel like right now they're getting destroyed because of the loss. Now, did it look good? No. But at the same time, you can't take away all the hard work these guys have done for over a decade. And after being on top for half a decade, controlling the round, from the, I mean the division. So I still applaud those guys. I expect to see Arrow back. I expect to see Derrick James to continue to develop the way he's doing because I feel like they're very needed for the sport and they're doing a great job. What if, uh, if a rematch were to happen at 154 pounds, what, what happens in a rematch? It depends. You know, Derrick James is smart, and I think Errol is a very crafty fighter. If Derrick can go and make adjustments, it, be, it can become a different type of fight. I honestly wouldn't take that fight soon, though. I would give Errol time to recover, mentally get his mind to a space where it needs to be, because getting that first loss is a different thing. You know, you got to have the right kind of people around you to help build your confidence, but at the same time, give you the work that you need. And that's what's really, really important. So take a little time, take the time that's needed, Get that rematch, put the right people in place, and come back after it. I would. Uh, looking at, I've heard Tank say that if he'd move up to 147 pounds, he said something, I believe the quote was, you need six rounds to beat, to beat Terrence Crawford. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Tank is gifted. We've seen what Tank can do. Especially if he touched that chin, he, got, he has power. But you're talking about a guy who's a two-division, undisputed world champion and has beat everybody he's put in front of him. I don't think it's an easy win. I don't think he's a guy you're just going to walk over or that can walk into a lot of traps. 
I feel like you're dealing with a guy who's crafty, who's rangy, who knows distance, and he knows how to deal with a guy like that. So I feel like the fight will be good, but to be able to knock a guy out in six rounds of that level, I just don't believe that. I just want to get into Jermel, Charlo, you know, undisputed versus undisputed against Canelo at 168. What does Jermel have to do to be successful in that fight? Be Jermel. I feel like Jamel has gifts. I feel like all he has to do is be himself. Uh, don't get caught up into Canelo's games because Canelo is very crafty with a great IQ. And because he has such a huge name, a lot of times athletes fall into that. Be yourself. Do what your corner is telling you to do. Do the same things that got you to where you need to be. Make the proper adjustments based on what you know Canelo can do. But be you. That's what's going to get you there and that's what's going to keep you there. Man, what, uh, what else you got coming up next? I mean, obviously this one's a big one this weekend, but I mean, I know you're always working. I know you always got fighters. Uh, you know, yeah. what's going on with you next? I got a lot going on. Some things I can't announce up to this point. Good stuff then, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Must yeah. be good. <laughs> Some big things coming up, but you know what? I'm grateful to be up this point. This year, I've already won six world titles this year, so, you know, hopefully I can get me a couple, few more. Uh, I know one of my athletes, Marlon Tapalis, is going to fight for the undisputed title coming up here soon. Against uh, uh, anywhere, right? Anyway, right? Well, that's, that's coming up, that's you know, one. that's a big one, yeah, 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 so we got that, you know, undisputed title coming up soon, but there's a lot of things on the worst. When the time is right, I'll make sure to announce them. Man, I can't wait to hear about it. Thank you, brother. Coach, uh, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank Best you. of luck with everything you're doing, Absolutely. man. Tell the fans they can follow you. Hey, listen, go follow Coach Wade, I Build Champions on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hey, keep supporting the sport and keep supporting me. I love y'all. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother.